spoiler warning everybody, I will be talking about spoilers. The Last of Us Part 2 is releasing pretty soon and there has been a lot of bad press surrounding it. At first, I thought people were mad about the story itself and how it goes against pretty much everything that's been established in the first game. Upon further research into the issue though, I found that things were much worse than they first seemed. This video has taken a while for me to release particularly because of how deep this whole thing goes. So let's break down what's going on with The Last of Us Part 2, catch you guys up to speed. Side note, I will not be showing any clips of any of Naughty Dog's licensed properties and the same thing goes for any Sony properties because I want to avoid any issues with them at all costs. And if you don't already know why I'm saying this, I'll get to that in a minute. It's pretty insane, but let's just start this story from the beginning. As with many major video games, there's that infamous crunch time. That point where the company pushes its employees to work ridiculous hours every day of the week for several weeks leading to a game's release date. Naughty Dog has been allegedly partaking in some very serious crunching to the point where 70% of their staff felt inclined to quit and leave the company for good. Well, one of these quitting employees felt so unfairly treated that they decided to leak cutscenes from the story online and let everyone know what was up with The Last of Us Part 2. There's also a rumor that it wasn't a former employee who did the leak, but simply just a random hacker. But the point is, the story got out on the internet somehow. I haven't seen any of these cutscenes for myself, but from my understanding, the plot to the second game goes something like this. The daughter of one of the doctors you kill at the end of the first game wants revenge. She goes out and kills Joel, and then goes after Ellie and tries to kill her. Ellie is understandably upset at Joel's death, and she tries to get revenge on this doctor's daughter or whatever. Uh, so they're basically at war with each other. What does this have to do with the clickers and the apocalypse going on in the world around them? I don't know. It seems as though... This post-apocalyptic world does not exist to allow for a more intricately woven story like in the first game, but rather it exists as an excuse to not have a governing body to hold these characters accountable for their actions when they do wrong. Also, there's something about the doctor's daughter being transgender or transsexual or trans something. She might not even be a she. I don't really know and I don't really care at this point. What I will say is, I don't think anyone is going to be thinking too hard on whether or not they like having the dick they were born with in the middle of an apocalypse. It just seems like there'd be a little more going on that you'd need to worry about instead. But again, the point of the apocalypse is to have no consequences for your actions. Not to make you feel as though humanity is on the brink of extinction. Listen, if the game makes a big deal about the character being trans and throws it in your face, then I'm gonna fucking throw up. But if it doesn't, and it treats it as no big deal, then it's no big deal. What is a big deal, however, is that you, the player, get to play as this tranny ma'am while she, he tortures and tries to slaughter Ellie. Well, as it turns out, people aren't exactly too happy about killing characters they already grew to know and love from the first game. It just feels wrong. And when it comes down to it, I like that they are making Joel and Ellie's actions have real consequences. I do. But having one or both of them die at the hands of the player? That's not something people want to do. So I know I didn't give too much detail, but that is the basic gist of the story. However, with all this knowledge of crunch times and forcing me to be a transgender murderer, I was still on board to give this game the benefit of the doubt. It didn't seem too promising, but Naughty Dog hasn't let me down before, so why should I expect them to fail me now? Then I started watching other YouTubers making videos on the subject, particularly Mr. H and a YouTuber that I'd previously not known, Just Some Guy. No, really, that's his channel name, Just Some Guy. Check him out. He makes great videos. He was on the front lines when all of this went down. And he has some finer details about this situation that I won't be going into here. I'll leave a link in the description to his channel if you want to check it out, I'd highly recommend it. 
Remember when I said I wasn't going to put any Naughty Dog or Sony owned content in this video? Yeah, it's because what they're doing to YouTubers like Just Some Guy, Mr. H, and countless others. They are falsely copyright striking and claiming their videos, taking them off of YouTube, or at the very least, altering the way the YouTube algorithm works its magic so that these videos won't be seen by as many people. That's right, if you talk bad about The Last of Us Part 2, swiggity swooty, Sony's coming for that booty. There is a lot of details surrounding this issue, and I mean a lot. Sony is apparently attempting to take these videos down at least until the official release date of the game, and they keep stalling any legal progress, they keep stalling to make it seem like, oh, they're not really the bad guy, like they'll unflag videos and then have a third party company flag them again. And this third party company, I think it's Mosu or something like that. I'll correct it in the editing if I'm wrong. But they exist to act as a legal scapegoat. And the sad part is, all of the final decisions about whether or not these videos in question actually violated the, the law are made by the company who strikes the video in the first place. So, to make it simple, Sony strikes a video. Then the final decision of whether that strike was necessary or whether that strike was warranted, the final decision for that is made by, you guessed it, Sony. And I'd like to take this time to thank YouTube for making this bullshit system. You really know how to look out for the little guy, Miss Wazowski, whatever the Mike Wazowski looking ass. I don't know what your name is, Susan. Anyway, this whole this whole copyright striking and claiming business. This was the last straw for me. I will no longer be buying The Last of Us Part 2 when it launches. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll still look at reviews for it. And who knows? Maybe after a year or two, I might catch the game on sale. I might find a cheap and used copy of it. Or I might borrow it from a friend. But as it stands... Naughty Dog will not be getting my money. I don't ever want to tell any of my viewers what to do, but I will encourage you to make an informed decision on whether or not they get your money as well. This has been the Kenyan Entertainment Network. K-E-N, Ken, Kenyan Entertainment Network. I thought it was clever. It's new. All right, I'm still working on it. Just anyway, hope you enjoyed and have a great fucking day.